Welcome back to Only Talk Sports. We talk sports every single day, or at least we try to. I'm Rose Jeffrey. Subscribe to the channel if you like sports content. Hit that notification bell so you never miss another video. Now, on Christmas Eve, you have the Hawaii Bowl between the Middle Tennessee State Blue Raiders and the San Diego State Aztecs. Who do I think is going to win this bowl game? Let's break it down. Now, Middle Tennessee State is 7-5 and 4-4 and four and four in Conference USA this season. And Rick Stock still, he's been at Middle Tennessee State for 17 seasons and he's done a pretty solid job there he's had a lot of up and down seasons but this season's been one of the better seasons for middle tennessee state and they were able to make a bowl game and in week one they lost at james madison 44 to 7 and that was a bad loss because they weren't really competitive. Then they won at Colorado State 34-19. Then they beat Tennessee State 49-6. Then they won at Miami 45-31. That was a great win. Even though Miami really struggled this season to get a win over an ACC team is really solid. Then they lost to UTSA 45-30 at home. That was a tough loss. Then they lost at UAB 41-14. That was a bad loss. Then they lost to Western Kentucky at home 35-17. That was a tough stretch of games there. Then they won at UTEP 24-13. Then they lost at Louisiana Tech 40-13. 24. Louisiana Tech really struggled this season. That was a bad loss. Then they won over Charlotte 24 to 14. Then they beat Florida Atlantic 49 to 21. And then they won at FIU 33 to 28 in the final game of the regular season. Middle Tennessee State's been up and down all season. They've had some games where they played really well, and they've had some games where they flat out struggle. So it's going to be very interesting to see which Middle Tennessee State team shows up to play in this bowl game. And quarterback Chase Cunningham is 283 of 420 for 2,920 yards, 19 touchdowns, 9 interceptions, and 143 rushing yards and a touchdown. He's a pretty solid quarterback for Middle Tennessee State. He has had a good season. He hasn't turned the ball over too much, and he has sneaky athleticism, and he's definitely helped Middle Tennessee State's offense this year. And running back Frank Peasant has 165 attempts for 747 yards, nine touchdowns, and 276 receiving yards and two touchdowns. He's a pretty solid dual threat running back. He can catch the ball out of the backfield, and he can run up the middle. So Middle Tennessee State has a solid running back there. And wide receiver Jalen Lane is 59 receptions for 829 yards and four touchdowns. Middle Tennessee State's had a really good season on offense, and they consistently had good offenses in the past. And on the defense side of the ball, safety Trey Llewellyn is 97 total tackles, 54 solo tackles, and two interceptions. Cornerback to Corian Patterson is 63 total tackles, 44 solo tackles, and six interceptions. And defensive end Jordan Ferguson is 61 total tackles, 30 solo tackles, two forced fumbles, a fumble recovery, and eight and a half sacks. And Middle Tennessee State's defense has struggled at times this season. They've given up a lot of points in some games, but they've also stepped up at times. Middle Tennessee State's defense needs to be more consistent, and Middle Tennessee State's offense is definitely better than their defense. And on the San Diego State side, they're seven and five and five and three. And the Mount West this season. And Brady Hoax in his second stint as the San Diego State head coach. And he's done a pretty solid job at San Diego State having them as one of the better Mount West programs. They did take a step back this season, but they still had a pretty good season overall. And in week one, San Diego State lost to Arizona 38-20. to That was a tough loss. Even though Arizona was a much improved Pac-12 team, they still struggled in that game. Then they beat Idaho State 38-7 to at home. That was a good win. Then they lost at Utah 35-7. to Utah was a great Pac-12 team this year. San Diego State could not put up a fight. Then they beat Toledo 17-14. to That was a good win. Then they lost at Boise State 35-13. to They weren't too competitive in that game. Then they beat Hawaii 16-14 to at home. Then they won at Nevada 23-7. to Then they lost at Fresno State 32-28. to then they beat UNLV 14 to 10. Then they won against San Jose State 43 to 27. Then they won at New Mexico 34 to 10. So that was a good stretch of games there. But then in the final game of the regular season, they lost to Air Force 13 to 3 at home. That was a tough way to end the regular season. But San Diego State again still had a pretty solid season overall. And quarterback Jalen Maiden is 122 of 194 for 1,721 yards, 10 touchdowns, seven interceptions, and 205 rushing yards and three touchdowns. He was not the starting quarterback at the beginning of the season. That was the Virginia Tech transfer, Braxton. Burmeister, but San Diego State opted for quarterback Jalen Maiden because he is a really athletic quarterback. He's a pretty solid runner. He does throw in opportune picks at times, but if Jalen Maiden can improve in the passing game, he can be a really solid quarterback for San Diego State in the future, and he had a decent season overall. And running back Jordan Bird had 91 attempts for 389 yards, three touchdowns, and 53 receiving yards and a touchdown. San Diego State has a running back by committee. They have like five running backs that they use throughout games, so they don't really have a lead back, but Jordan Bird does have the most attempts overall, and they have a pretty solid rushing attack. Wide receiver Tyrell Shavers is 34 receptions for 581 yards and three touchdowns. And San Diego State's offense, they have struggled at times to put up points, but they don't have a bad offense overall. They just struggle with consistency. And on the defense side of the ball, linebacker Michael Shawcroft is 77 total tackles, 45 solo tackles, five and a half sacks, and a forced fumble. He's a fantastic linebacker. Safety Patrick McMorris is 59 total tackles, 28 solo tackles, an interception, and a fumble recovery. And defensive lineman Jonah Tavai is 56 total tackles, 29 solo tackles, and nine sacks. And San Diego 
State's defense has really helped them win a lot of games this year, especially when San Diego State's offense was struggling, and that's why they've had a good season overall is because their defense has been very solid. But who do I think is going to win the Hawaii Bowl? Middle Tennessee State, with Rick Stock still a head coach, is the model of consistency. Every year they're able to win a lot of games because their offense is really solid, even though their defense does struggle at times. And overall, in Rick Stock still's tenure at Middle Tennessee State, their defense hasn't been the best. They've had some solid seasons on defense. But still, their offense is how they win games. They have a really solid quarterback, Chase Cunningham. He's not going to make too many mistakes. He's sneakily athletic. He can run the ball when it's needed. And Middle Tennessee State's offense does definitely put a lot of pressure on teams. But San Diego State has a really solid defense. They have great players on defense. And that's helped San Diego State win a lot of close, low-scoring games. And even though San Diego State's offense has struggled at times, they don't turn the ball over too much. They do have a really solid rushing attack. And as long as quarterback Jalen Maiden doesn't make too many mistakes, that will definitely help San Diego State win this game. But I think this game is going to be really close either way. But I think San Diego State is going to beat Middle Tennessee State 24-21 to in the Hawaii Bowl. I think Middle Tennessee State can win this game. Neither team has opt-outs. That really helps both teams as well. Both teams want to be here. I think Middle Tennessee State is going to play really solid on offense. But it's going to be very tough for them to score on San Diego State's defense. And I think Middle Tennessee State's defense will definitely benefit from the fact that San Diego State's offense doesn't really light the world on fire. But I think San Diego State overall, they have a little bit more talent on both sides of the ball. The offense is going to be able to find ways to score enough on Middle Tennessee State's defense that isn't the best. And I think San Diego State's defense is going to be able to slow down Middle Tennessee State's offense just enough. And I think that Brady Hoke is going to have his team fired up to play. And even though I think Rick Stock still, he knows how to coach. and He's been at Middle Tennessee State for a long time. and He's got a really solid team. But I think San Diego State is going to beat Middle Tennessee State 24-21 to in the Hawaii Bowl. Subscribe to the channel if you like sports content. Like this video down below. Comment down below whether you think Middle Tennessee State or San Diego State is going to win this bowl game and why. And I'll see you next time.